Good morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2016 66 plate Audi A1 1.6 litre TDI S-Line Black Edition. Finished off in the Pearl Effect Daytona Grey. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop and we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of this car and what we're prepared to do to it prior to sale. Now we're back around to the start, I'll zoom back in and we're going to look over the car panel by panel. So the near side front wing looks in good condition, near side front door looks good, near side rear door looks good and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy looks in nice condition and the near side front tyre is a high-end bridge stone with approximately 5mm of tread remaining. Moving down the near side to the near side rear alloy, same again a nice condition alloy and the near side rear tyre is another high-end bridge stone with approximately 4 or 5mm of tread remaining. Looking back down the near side now from rear to front, near side rear quarter looks good, both near side doors look good and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, so we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see, rear bumper and lower plastics are looking in nice condition. One tiny little superficial mark just at the bottom of the bumper there that should be polished up and touched in prior to sale. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition. Rear screen looks good with the factory privacy glass and along the roof lining is in good condition as well. Looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front, offside rear quarter looks good, both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy looks in nice condition and the offside rear tyre another high end bridge stone with approximately 4 or 5 mil of tread remaining. Moving down the offside now to the offside front alloy, another nice condition alloy. And the offside front tyre, another high end Bridgestone with approximately 5mm of tread remaining. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear, offside front wing looks good, offside front and offside rear doors look in good condition, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, so we're going to check out all lights and grills on the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition and as for the front bumper for the age and mileage of the car looks in really nice condition if anything there's only one or two light marks to be polished up and touched in prior to sale final panel to look over is the bonnet as you can see paintwork looks good no signs of any major dents or scratches or anything like that you can really see the pearl effect in the paint in the sun looks in amazing condition same as the front bumper for the age of mileage looks in really nice condition barely any touch-ups to do but if we do find any uh, they will get done in the workshop prior to sale final thing to look over before we make our way over the interior is the front screen as you can see there are no major chips or cracks in this front screen you do get very light surface peppering but other than that it looks in nice condition now we're going to make our way over the interior starting in the boot Decent sized boots in these A1s for a little car. As you can see, all carpets and plastics look in immaculate condition. Those mats, if they fall this car and fits a bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. Parcel shelf looks in nice condition and all the plastics underneath the boot lid look in good condition as well. Moving through the interior, rear door cards look in nice condition. There you have the factory rear bench with the half and half leather cloth um, interior three factory headrests three three-point seat belts and ice fix fittings to both outer seats charcoal headliners in good condition back to both front seats look good and the rear carpets are in nice condition as well front door cards look in nice condition s-line kick plates look good front carpets in good condition and the front s-line seats again with the half leather half cloth combo bolster still firm holding their shape no excessive wear no rips no tears no cigarette burns no traces of any odors in this car passenger seats in as nice condition if not a little bit better no signs of any plastic repairs or dash repairs at all i'm going to start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as i can so we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. 
automatic lights and wipers in this car. I just battle the sun glare. Moving across, got cruise control on the start adjustment underneath the indicators. Moving up the centre console, we've got the optional armrest, which is rare for an A1. Five speed manual transmission, two usable cup holders. Got Audi Drive Select, uh, rear heated screen and traction control. We've got the air conditioning controls just in the centre there. Moving up to the MMI controls, I'll now run through these as we move up to the screen. As you can see, another rare option for an A1. We've got satellite navigation, full telephone prep. In radio, we have DAB and a few other options. And in media, we've got the Bluetooth audio streaming and again, a couple of other options you can see here. Moving back over to the driver's side, as you can see, we're finished off with this flat bottom leather bound S-Line multifunction steering wheel. And this car's on 43,512 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.